Are you an LVN and trying to figure out what is the best way to get a grip of working at a nursing home? Welcome to Think Nursing. In this video series, we are going to go over some strategies to help you understand and able to complete your shift as an LVN at a nursing home or SNF. And in this video, we are going to talk about the best practice to apply when you begin your shift as an LVN or a charge nurse in a nursing home. If you are new here, my name is Josh, I'm an LVN, I've been a charge nurse, desk nurse, marketer, DSD, and case manager in the past. There are a lot more nursing related content coming your way, so be sure to subscribe to this channel. So let's get right into how to begin your shift as a charge nurse. Hopefully by now, you've seen the previous video where I talked about the 10 things that I do to prepare for my shift. If you missed that video, please click the card right here. I will also link the video in the description box down below. Those things are very important and I highly recommend you checking that out. Okay, so now that you have the census page from the previous video with all kinds of information. Now, if you haven't already, get a report from your previous shift nurse. In this report, expect to know some of these things. Number one, what is the highlight of their day? Meaning, what are the biggest events that happen at the facility? This could be a change of condition, a death of a patient, admission, discharge, a family member issue, etc. You know, trust me, there is never a dull moment at a healthcare facility. You will be really busy later, and you certainly don't want to be caught off guard. You want to know everything. This is to avoid, for example, a family member of a patient calling you and asking you about some event. You don't ever want to be a nurse that say, I'm sorry, I don't know about that, or let me check with someone else. If you do that, that will decrease the level of confidence that the families and patients have toward the facility, especially towards you. And also, they will get really anxious later and potentially slow you down. The next thing is to expect a room by room report. Go to each room with the previous shift nurse. Briefly check the condition of each room and patient. Make sure they're all nice. The previous shift nurse should go over the highlight of each patient's day. Make sure you see everyone present on your census. If you don't see any of them, make sure you know where they are. They could be maybe out on an appointment, maybe out on dialysis, maybe they got maybe they got discharged. Or simply maybe they are at the patio or somewhere in the facility. It's very helpful to put a face to the list of the names that you have on the census page. It's going to help you start developing relationship with the patients as well. Sometimes, this also helps the previous shift nurse to remember an event that they may have forgotten before looking at the patients with you. Now, after you are done with your report, do a quick huddle with your nursing team. If you don't know, a huddle is when the nursing team gather for a short meeting, usually at the nurse's station, and they go over the important things with everyone to make sure everyone's on the same page. This is usually run by the RN supervisor. This would include the RN supervisor, of course, all of the LVN charge nurses, and your CNAs. Now, if you are working at a facility that doesn't have this routine yet, as an LVN, you can initiate this routine. I highly recommend you being initiative to have a huddle, if possible with everyone that I mentioned, but at the very least, just with your CNAs. In this huddle, make sure that all of your CNAs know their assignments and their break time. Go over the change of condition book with them. That is a great time for you to create a game plan or strategy with your CNAs. Avoid giving a long, excessive lecture during that huddle. With your CNAs, just educate them about simple things that they need to look out for when they are interacting with the patients. For example, let's say Mr. X have a dark color urine. You want to tell your CNAs to offer more fluids, look out for complaints of pain when they are urinating, and keep track of it. You know, simple things like that. This is to remind your CNAs that they are valuable and they play a huge role in caring for the patients. During this huddle, 
Share the events that were reported by the previous shift nurse as needed. Share your findings from your preparation paper. Go over the scheduled dialysis, discharge, and appointments with your CNAs so that they may get their patients ready before getting picked up by transportation. You should remind your CNAs that you guys will need each other to successfully complete the shift. Tell them that you are available to help them with simple tasks like repositioning or transferring a patient that might require two people. This huddle should be quick and take no longer than five to 10 minutes. All of those things are better to be talked about before you start your run rather than discussing it in the middle of your run where you might be in the middle of passing medications. Hopefully by this time, you develop a good respectful working relationship with your CNAs and also hopefully everyone will be on the same page by this time. Look, I know this is a lot and for the first couple of weeks, maybe months, you may find yourself overwhelmed with all of these tasks and information, but trust me, it'll get better later on. Every LVN experienced and went through this and most of us survive. Just keep pushing on, have faith in yourself, talk less, more action, focus on your patience, and you will do great things. In the next video, I'm going to talk more about being an LVN at a nursing home. Feel free to replay this video or take a break before diving in into the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one.